All right, so I am shooting a supplemental video on just snapping your gun back together. I'm sure there's a more technical name for those snap catches, but that's what they do. They snap your gun back together, and they are situated here, here, a couple of different spots, okay? And you do want to handle those with care. And I'm going to get this feeder in here. That that alone is worth a video of its own. And I've had the struggle figuring out how to do this so everybody can do it. So let's get started. All right. So as you can see, there's the back. I'm going to go ahead and put this on there. Make sure all your parts are right. Let's do a roll call here. So, all right. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Make sure all the parts are in position. So the first tooth in your connector goes in between the first two in your pick. Okay. One tooth on there goes in between two teeth here. That's good. Your pump stop's good. And then we're going to put in your feeder. Your oil hole is good. That's a good spot for it. Make sure that, that you can see that and see coils when you look through your frame. Okay. Everything looks good. So let's go ahead and... Get this thing put back together. All right. Remember to watch your gate right here. Make sure that's where it needs to be. And let's do this. Okay, so we start by snapping on the back side here. And it is going to fight you. Be ready for that. Be ready for a little fight. And I may have to stand up to do this. So it's going to potentially... Yeah. Okay. So, it's going to be a little rough. Okay, we got to get this feeder back in if you want your gun to work properly. And so, make sure everything's in position. And let me stand up and do this. Let's see here. Okay. There we go. Here are those wonderful snaps. That's what we're looking for. Okay. There we go, there we go. You hear all that snapping. No screws in this video. That is for another video. Okay, and here is the alligator mouth that I was talking about. It's slightly open. Okay, and we need that alligator mouth so we can get your feeder back in here. We're going to coil it up on that plastic rod there. And get it in there. Right, and I'll zoom in, but... Okay, so we need to get this in there and then get this back on its resting spot. Okay, and I am going to use a very small micro screwdriver head to help with this. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little better. Okay, about right there. Okay, can you see that? Yes, you can. Okay, so we need to get that spring about right there, right there on its catch point. Okay, now get a flashlight on there so you can see it when I'm done. And So I'm going to pull back here on that rod. The spring's riding on the rod. And just get it pulled back here. There we go. Okay, and then I'll show you. Okay, beautiful. See, it's on its catch point. Barely. <laughs> here, let me, let me see if I can get that a little better. There we go. There we go, okay. And then I snap it down. Okay, you're gonna wanna get under there and push slightly. There we go, push this side slightly under the other for those snaps. There you go, okay, there, that's a good one. Now test your feeder, there you go. One, two, three, okay, good. It's in a spot and it has nice authority to it. Okay, and now at this stage, okay, everything's going good. You, well, you heard everything snapping together. This looks good. The pump stop catch right there looks good. Okay, it snapped together well on the bottom. I'm very pleased with this. I would say the trick for this is when you're putting this together, this side, which is the left side, push it under with your thumb. This will flex and get it under the right side, and you'll have less problems. Okay. So then, I'm very pleased with this video so far. And then, let's see here. And so then push. There we go. All right. 
Okay, wow, I'm glad this came out. If you only knew how many takes I had to make of this. Okay, so let's put the front sight back on. Okay, and that solidifies your job there. Check check your loading gate, that looks good. 250 to around 300 BBs. No crevices, double check this. That looks good. Okay, no crevices. I'm just gonna let you look at the gun, how you would need to look at it to inspect it. Trigger, trigger, trigger's okay. Any, any openings? Nope. And this gun has its feeder working and is ready to start putting the screws back in. All right, so thank you very much.